So if you watched my previous videos on the new Duramax XP2000EH dual fuel generator, I went ahead and tested the generator on a propane, showed that it does work pretty well. So the reason we bought the generator, as I talked about, was to power my Lance truck camper and it provides all the power we need to run anything including the air conditioner. A problem you have when you have a truck camper, or any camper for that matter, is storage space. So I, I don't want to take gasoline along with us because there's really nowhere to put it. And we already have propane on board. So there's no reason for me to have to lug around another propane bottle to hook up just for the generator. So a lot of newer RVs have a connection like this. What this is, is a low pressure hookup point for propane. And the purpose of it is to connect a gas grill or other similar uh, accessory that requires a low pressure connection. So actually, after the gas leaves your uh, tank, it goes to this regulator, which drops the pressure down and makes it so you can use it in your RV, in your furnace, your stove, all that stuff. Well, it's also the same pressure that your generator requires. So now I'll show you what you actually need to make that little adapted, adaptive connection for this project. All right, so to actually build the setup that you need to connect the generator to your RV, um, here's what it's gonna look like. So most RVs have a output for a, it's called a low pressure propane connection. This is mainly for like a grill. So. I bought this hose, and I'll put a link below in the description, and this is a, I believe a 12 foot hose, and on one end it's got this connection here, on the other end you have a 3 8 inch flare connection, female, okay, so this part will plug into the RV, and this side will make connect to our uh, generator. So generator basically looks like this. This is the stock setup from the generator when you get it. So what this is, this is a regulator that drops it down from the high tank pressure to a low pressure. So your RV already has this part built in before you plug it into that hose. So we do not need this. So that just simply unscrews from this piece here. That's a 3 8 inch uh, just pipe thread connection. Then what I did is I bought this adapter here. So this is just a 3 8 inch pipe thread to a 3 8 inch flare. And this is the part right here. There will be a link to that in the description below also. So I put a little bit of thread sealant, snug it down with a wrench. And now our output from the RV We'll just thread right onto here like this. And then this is the part that goes into the generator. It's actually very simple to adapt this to work. And now instead of having to lug around an extra 20 pound cylinder just for the generator, we can connect it directly to our RV low pressure port. Right, so I'm just gonna take this, we're gonna stick it down so it comes out the bottom. And if you aren't, don't have a truck camper like this, just a regular RV, a lot of times you'll find this port underneath the bottom of the RV along the frame. And this is an on off switch here. All right, so we'll take our connection that we made a minute ago. And this is your quick connect port here. So we'll go ahead and we'll make that connection last. we need to take this side of the 3H flare. We're going to connect it to the actual regulator on the generator. And the only purpose of this regulator is it uses the vacuum from the intake pulse to meter off propane. That way when the generator shuts down, the propane shuts off because there's no vacuum coming from the engine. Otherwise, propane would just continue to flow into your carburetor and you'd have a pretty large propane leak. So I'll just 
connect that to there. We'll connect this one onto the generator itself. And make sure all these connections are snug. Right, now your regular needs to be in a position where it's facing up like this. Right, so now connect this, and it's just like an airline. Probably can't do this with one hand, but you'll pull this part back and push this in until it locks into place. All right, once you get that in there, we can go ahead and turn on our gas. Like that. Come here and purge this. You can actually hear the propane flowing. It's just allowing propane to enter the carburetor. Go ahead and flip our switch to on. Alright, so just a quick video to show you a neat little modification you can make. Like I said, most newer of RVs have this setup. All I had to do was buy just this hose and that one little 3 8 inch adapter, and I'll leave the part numbers in the description below. Then you can set up your Pulsar or your dual Duromax dual fuel propane generator to run your camper off of your onboard propane. So it's really great when you're looking to save some space. If you have a question, leave it in the comments section below. Be sure to like the video, it helps me out, and subscribe if you want to see some more. I'll see you next time. Thanks.